got to sport, you realize your power that you have and how strong you are and capable you are. All right, fellas, let's get ready. In sport, you learn so much. You learn how to work hard, set goals, meet those goals, create new goals, and be resilient when goals don't work out. That's what sports can teach us. Society has labeled it a disability. I label it as an adaptive ability. Just because I'm different doesn't mean I can't do what they can do. Oh my gosh, my legs are tired. I'm Glenn Mary, and I'm the executive director at Move United. What has happened is we've become more of a social justice movement for people with disabilities. And the energy put into adaptive sport the last few years is changing it from like, hey, come to us and we'll, we'll get you out and active to, hey, we're gonna grab you, we're gonna pull you off the sideline, we're gonna get you engaged. We're literally uniting a movement and we're moving the group forward in a way that has never been done before. My name is Sof Santiago and I'm doing track and I'm also doing powerlifting. My name is Cedric Dunn and I'm gonna be a future world champion. I'm Lucas, I do sled hockey, swimming, track and field. My name is Emma and I do track and field, wheelchair basketball. My name is Josh, I do wheelchair basketball, track and field, sled hockey, powerlifting. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Push, push, push! We are just doing for fun. I mean, he's doing things doing for a little bit. My name is Sydney, and I play air rifle, track and field, and wheelchair basketball. I was at practice for track, and somehow I beat all the boys. That was pretty much when I realized, like, oh, I'm good at this. Hi, I'm Matt from Tom Berg. I do sports like archery, basketball, and track and field. The people that come here come from all different walks of life, but the one thing they share in common is the passion and love for the sport. I don't think I could have done any of this without my team from Texas and the coaches on the team. You know, you see all your friends break all these records, and they're also rooting for you to break all these records. I just like love the competition, love seeing other people's results and how they put in their effort. Hey, that was close, that was close. It's an incredible, inspiring thing and I just love the adaptive community. getting people off the sidelines by supporting the 210 locations and members across the country and providing equipment that if you want to try racing in a race chair, that one chair can serve 10, 20 athletes at a program. And they're providing that type of equipment support to our organizations. My name is Claire Burns, and I'm the Chief Marketing and Communications Officer at The Hartford. As a leading provider of disability benefits, we at the Hartford believe that people should be defined by their ability, not their physical limitations. We want to make people better, we want to make communities better, we want to unlock all the different possibilities that are there in their lives. I'm Haley Dans. I'm a Team Hartford athlete. When I first started, I was kind of just hooked on this community. 
My name is Matt Scott. I play wheelchair basketball, and I'm proud to be a Team Hartford athlete. My name is Keith Gable. I compete in para snowboarding. It doesn't feel like a sponsor or a partner. It feels like a family. Every time I come to one of these events, it's hugs and high fives and catching up with old friends, making new ones, you know? And, and I cannot tell you how grateful I am. I'm Oksana Masters, and I'm just so, so proud to be a member of the Hartford family because of what they're doing with bringing awareness to adaptive sports and making it more accessible. And that is going to create an massive ripple effect for these young kids and the next generation. Adaptive sports equipment is extremely expensive, seven to eight times more than what equipment would cost for an everyday athlete. They should be able to access equipment just as easily as any other person wanting to participate. And we want to make that possible through our adaptive equipment donations. Training's everything, and you have to put the hours in training, but you can only go so far without the right equipment to help you get there. One, two, three. Good job. So I'm going to support your back. You have a helmet. My gloves. You ready to go? Yes. that we're going to award is a gentleman by the name of Cedric Dunn. This is legitimately my favorite part of any of the, any of the uh, events that I'm a part of as a Team Hartford athlete. It really means the world to me because I know that this can just take them from being a, a casual athlete to being a superstar. So congratulations. I was able to make my first national team at such a young age because of an equipment donation like this. Who's ready to have a baby? Today we are in sunny, Denver, Colorado at the MOVE United Junior Nationals opening ceremony. Let's go Texas! Let's go Texas! This competition is a great example of developmental opportunities. There's 177 athletes here. A couple of them will qualify to go on to national championships. But a lot of them are here because they're kind of learning their technique. They're kind of learning what their potential is, where their comfort levels are. Being a Team Hartford athlete um, gives me the opportunity to come watch athletes like Cedric really exude that joy for the sport that he has. And when I see, when I see athletes at that level exude the joy that they do, it really reminds me of my why. So I really love coming to events like this. What's been interesting is I come back, different state, different location, some of the same athletes, they recognize me, they come up, they want to have a chat about wherever we left off last time. It's like, yeah, I want to talk about sport. I want to talk about like how things are going in my long jump. And you know, I'm really glad that we have the full competition series this year because now I'm going to be in Texas and I'm also going to show up in Chicago. Coming to these events, I'm able to meet like a lot of other people and they kind of all understand like a similar thing that you're going through. So that's really nice. Get out there. I'm Tom Heaney. And my name is uh, Yifosa Obazi. Ah! My sport is discus. I like competing. I like uh, just the energy of it. You know what I'm saying? The thrill of it. Getting back into sports just fit me. I, I had something that I could work hard at, improve at. Uh, there was a game day. I, I, there was something to get ready for. And it gave me a sense of normalcy that really got me through some of those really crisis years. Companies like the Hartford, we need them. We need them to keep supporting sports like this. I mean, there, there's a there's hundred people out there and maybe half of them might not get out of the house all week long if they didn't have things like this. You know, it, it does wonders for their mental health. I love doing team sports. I love being social and it really completes me. It really builds up my character and my self-esteem.
And the biggest thing, like, obviously, to play, I want people to play the sport, but also I want them to use it as a tool uh, to get to where they want to be in life. And the people that are sitting on the sidelines now, stop. Come join the movement. Be part of sport. It's absolutely normal, first of all. Recognize the fact it's absolutely normal to have a bit of hes hesitation about trying something new. It's a little bit scary if you haven't done something. The thing is, there's a community that's waiting to welcome you in. And that's what you should be thinking about. You kind of quite literally just have to kind of throw yourself into it. You'll meet one big happy family that's there to help you. Keep pushing, keep pushing! Go, push! The community is so diverse. You don't realize how connected you really are. What the Hartford is doing, you know, it's giving these people opportunities that they wouldn't have had otherwise. Through Adaptive Sport, you realize your power that you have and how strong you are and capable you are. There's more obstacles in the way, but that adaptation makes you think through what the possibilities are. Getting to participate, getting to believe in themselves, getting to try different kinds of sports and activities that they never thought were possible helps them have a completely new sense of belonging, a sense of purpose, and a sense of fun in their lives.